What's up guys, this is Ben, and today I'm going to show you basically how to fix this um, After Effects error problem, whatever, um, when you're trying to open up a project. It's basically saying After Effects, is, uh, After Effects error, crash occurred while invoking effect plugin, and whatever effects causing your After Effects problems. Um, so, yeah, for me it was auto color, but basically what this is saying is you've grabbed an effect from After Effects, you've put it on top of uh, a layer, um, and it's it's been fine for a, a few minutes, but once you've saved it, closed it off, and then reopened it again, this comes up. Um, this is I'm going to show you basically the, the fastest way I know, and I've just fixed it today, um, of how to fix this effect. People have been saying if you hold caps lock, uh, if you press that button down, because this disables the preview and After Effects, um, you can then obviously save the preview, go to the layers, delete the effects, and then um, get rid of caps lock and everything's hunky dory. If that doesn't work for you, um, basically follow this tutorial step by step. Do not be doing anything I do not tell you to do, because you could be doing some serious, you could mess your computer up in After Effects, etc. And you just don't want that to happen. Um, so, yeah. So, what you need to do is you go to your start menu, um, in, I don't know whether it's on Mac, but you go to start menu, you go to computer, you go to your, look, your C drive or your, your main drive, whatever you want to call it, because you might have got it different on your computer. Uh, you go to program files, um, I've got 64 bits, so I'm going to go to that one. You go to Adobe, After Effects CS6, so you basically go to your main After Effects um, files. Uh, you go to support files, uh, plugins, and effects. This will then list all the effects that um, come default with After Effects. Um, and what you want to do is find the effect that's causing you problems. In my case, it was auto color. Um, so, what you want to do um, is basically right click, go to copy. Um, and then go to your desktop and then paste it to your desktop like so and there's the effect just there um, that's now backed the effect up so what we're going to do now is I'm going to basically right click on it delete it, click yes and it's gone no more auto color um, what you're going to do, what you do now then is go into the project file that's whatever, whichever file is causing you problems open it up like that like, like, um, like this basically um, so when it's finally loaded, because it was for me it was auto color on both uh, this one clip edit and my brother's convicted episode. Um, so yeah, um, and what will happen is you once you've um, your effects has opened up, you'll come up with this message here. Uh, this project contains one reference to a missing effect. Please install the following effects to show this reference, um, and then whatever effect you remove, which in my case so uh, all color. So you click OK, wait for everything to load up. And you do not have to disable your refresh like I'm doing there, but all you have to do then is go to the uh, layers that's having that's got the problem, uh, got the colors, on, uh, the effects sorry, on, and then just delete it like that, um, and that's it. Um, and then all you do is save it like so. Um, close down the um, After Effects, and then you highlight your effect, you drop it back on top of the um, folder, you click continue. Um, you may get this message even when you're deleting it, just click yes. Um, that's what I'm doing and it works fine. And voila, it's back in place. So I'm close that down now and yeah, it actually now works for you. You can now reopen your file and you will not get that message anymore. So yeah. Um, so that's better how to fix it guys, so thanks for watching, I hope this helps as many people as it possibly can, hopefully this does fix it for you, but it's the best way I've known, I now know how to do it, Capslot was the first way, I hadn't mentioned this video, um, people said basically once you open in your file, um, uh, just the whole Capslot down, um, make sure it's open before you open your project, so it disables the preview and then delete it from all the layers you put it on. Um, but for me it didn't work so that's what I went and did and it's now working so yeah um, I hope this helps you all and yeah thanks a lot guys and we'll see you next video Bizzle.